In this video, we'll look at the solubility of nitrogen gas, N2, in water. So nitrogen gas is soluble in water. It'll dissolve in water. So there's a few ways you could do that. You could shake up a container of water and get the nitrogen to mix in with that, and some of it would dissolve. Another way is that it could just diffuse into the water. If you had a beaker of water setting out, nitrogen would diffuse into the water. That would look like this. Just kind of moving around random, everything would be moving, not just this one molecule, and it would just kind of work its way into the water. And that would be dissolved nitrogen in water. Conversely, it could work its way back out with this random motion. So we do have nitrogen dissolved in water, but let's take a look at a model about why, as the temperature increases, we have less nitrogen dissolved in water. So let's add some nitrogen molecules here. Let's add three. So we have the N2, that's the nitrogen. And then let's add a bunch of water molecules here. So we have our H2O. The red is the oxygen, the white is the hydrogen. And right now, nothing's happening. This is a static model. So in real life, things would be moving around, spinning, rotating. So here we have our water with nitrogen dissolved in it. As we increase the temperature, watch what happens. You can see the water molecules, they're kind of sticking to each other. Those green lines represent hydrogen bonds. If we increase the temperature, we put more energy into the system. You can see things move quicker, and the nitrogen is being forced out of the water. So it's no longer really dissolved in the water. This is a closed container. It can't go too far away, but it's not dissolved as much in the water. So as we increase temperature, the amount of dissolved gas, in this case nitrogen gas, decreases. Let's take a look at a graph of that. So here's our graph. On the bottom we have temperature increases this way and then solubility. How much of the nitrogen or these other gases are dissolved in water? So nitrogen, this is the kind of yellow here, and as the temperature increases the amount of nitrogen that can dissolve in water decreases just like we saw in our model. Here's oxygen, same thing. As the temperature increases the amount of dissolved oxygen that decreases. In fact, all gases here, as we increase the temperature, their solubility decreases. This is the opposite of what we'd see for ionic compounds like salts. If you heat up water, more salt will dissolve. So these curves would go this way for salts, ionic compounds. But in answer to our question, N2, nitrogen gas, does dissolve in water, but as we increase the temperature, the amount that's dissolved decreases. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.